Now, when you're when you're new to jQuery and working with plugins, um, a little bit maybe things aren't as clear. But as you gain more experience, you actually get to look at people's code and figure out what they're saying. You know, uh, I've mentioned this before. You don't necessarily have to worry about the specifics. I mean, you know, you're a designer, so your main focus is the aesthetics of it, not the deep down programming. But you you kind of need to get an idea of what's going on. It's almost like um, if you're like a guy who's into cars, right? But you're not a mechanic. You want to be able to open up your hood and say, you know, God, this is coming from a guy who doesn't know anything about cars. You know, you want to open up your hood and say, hey, my my carburetor is, is no good, you know. You wouldn't necessarily know how to fix it, but, but you know that's, that it's no good. Or maybe, you know, you, you know enough to change your battery or change the oil. It's, that's exactly what we're talking about here. We want to, we don't have to commit to knowing exactly what the code does, but you want to start interpreting what it does. And now, I'm looking at the author's example of how they used their JACG um, function over here and here here's what I see that's kind of like obvious I know this is a color right and I know this is a color and guess what's right before that start FFF and I got end this three two one one two three so say it was a little more complicated well why don't you just pop this color into Google and see if what you think it is is exactly what it is now if we're right we should uh, let's go back to our own page uh, if we're right this three two one one two three should be this purple color now let's see um, uh, let's go hex see if we got here we go yeah exactly right so now all we need to do it seems like at this point in order to get the gradient that we want is change that that uh, that number in our in our uh, in our JS right because that's where we put it so what do I want it to be well in my in the uh, where see the demo that I was using uh, now I can't find it okay I'm going from white to gray so this is like likely FFF and I'm going to like CCC so let me try just on instinct um oh did it did I is that FFF maybe uh yeah their demo has the white okay so I'm gonna keep it with the FFF and let me do CCC and you know what this is likely this is actually adding CSS to it I could tell cuz look it's adding the CSS right there so that's you know what we're cool we know the shorthand methods of these colors they don't we don't need all six F's or all six C's bam Look at that. Exactly what we were going for. Yeah, very nice. Um, now, how are they doing the rest of this stuff? Well, I mean, because I mean, just meaning that our design's falling out. Really, all this is is uh, margins or padding in our in our H2. I mean, let's do, or actually, why don't not even instead of defining margins and padding for all that thing, since everything's being held within that div container. Why don't we add uh, like some? Let's add some padding to our div. That's exactly what we could do. So here's our container, and I'll just go padding, and I'll keep it consistent all the way around. Let me put a uh, uh, 10 pixels. Let's see what that gets us. There we go. And it was simple as that. I I edited the JS to give me the color variant that I wanted, and then I just added some. Uh, padding to the entire container to kind of get it a bit more nestled in there now okay we did good now before we go any further let's actually test this uh, in different browsers so so far Firefox looks good uh, let me test this out in um, where are we going let me test this guy out in Chrome or or Safari rather. All right, that looks good. Let's see. Is eh, 
little bit different. I mean, look look already, look at the difference already. In in Safari, we have this top part over here. We have a top shadow, but notice how in the uh Firefox we don't. Interesting, interesting. Um actually since since we're doing that, let's see what we have what we get in um Chrome. Ooh, we get that top the top portion in Chrome as well. Um well I'm gonna want that in uh, uh, Firefox. Ultimately, and let's look at the real beast. And I'm gonna be I'm not even gonna bring it down to IE seven. I'm just gonna preview it in IE eight. Ugh. Great. What is this? Is there something wrong? Yeah, this doesn't even work. Look at that. I mean, do you see I'm clicking over here, there's error on page, as you could tell, at the bottom left hand corner of IE, and when I double click on it, it'll tell me show details. Uh well there's uh some error in my in line 27 of of uh, the script.js and uh I don't you know what I don't even know I don't even know how typical uh internet explorer is broken I guess we're going to have to do something about that